This is Mrs. Workman, and this is a quick tutorial to review the rules of capitalization. Most likely, you learn these rules when you are in lower school. However, I have seen mistakes in a lot of your writing over the last couple weeks of school, and I also want to remind you that I explained to you that first week of school that one of the reasons why you all are forced to take English. Some of you like to take English, but others of you feel like you're forced. Anyways, you're forced to take English over your schooling career is so that you can uh, communicate effectively with others. So we're going to go through these rules real quickly to just kind of review and get them fresh in your mind. And I want to show you, first of all, how capital letters might cause somebody to be confused if they're not used correctly. Let's say you get a, t a text message from your friend and he or she says this to you. Meet me at Ken's garage at 530. Ring the beetle. Well, that seems simple enough. However, let me show you how that might be misinterpreted. The part about Ken's garage. Does that mean are you going to go to a friend named Ken to his house and go to his garage at his house? Or are you going to go to the business which is named Ken's Garage. Or be the Beatle part of the second sentence. We have no capital B there, and a lot of times you guys leave out those capitals in your text. But someone might be confused, although I highly doubt it, because I don't know who would carry around this bug in their pocket. But nevertheless, you might think, all right, do they mean the bug, or do they mean the car, the Volkswagen bug? Simply changing a lowercase to a capital or vice versa can totally mess up your communication. So here we have it correctly and you can see that there's not going to be no misunderstanding about what your friend is trying to communicate with you. We're going to go through the rules real quickly. The first one is one that most likely was the first one you learned when you were in lower school. Obviously, we need to capitalize the first word in every sentence. So, after the concert, we went out for fruit smoothies. We need that capital A. Most of my friends like the music, capital M for most. And then the second sentence with this little set, one day we may go to another concert. Again, capital O for one at the beginning of that second sentence. Quoted sentences. We talked about this the other day as we reviewed how to use dialogue in order for you to use it correctly in your sequel for The Most Dangerous Game. Remember, we have our speaker tag, in this case, at the beginning, and we capitalize the K in kangaroos. It's the signal to the reader that this is where the dialogue begins. These are the exact words of Jack, so we need that as the reader. Ms. Herrera, the teacher most likely, responds, and she tells him, your answer is correct, Jack. So again, we need that Y capitalized because that's where the dialogue begins. Letters, although we don't use them that often anymore, these same rules would apply to emails, of course. You're going to capitalize the first word in the salutation, which is our greeting, dear manager or my dearest Nora. For dear manager, that M is capitalized in manager because we don't know the manager's name and we're using it as his or her name. In my dearest Nora, the D is lowercase. Nora, of course, is capitalized because it's her name. And we'll go over proper noun capitalization rules in a moment. The closing, the ending of the letter, your goodbye. You can close letters in, a, in several different ways. Here are two common ones. Sincerely yours, notice how the Y is not capitalized. It's only the first word. And then regards with a capital R. The pronoun I. This seems like common sense. However, as I have been grading things over the last three weeks of school, I've noticed that a lot of you put a lowercase i when you are referring to yourself. And that is because of text language and how you guys use that so frequently. But remember, in proper, formal, written English language, you must capitalize that I. You see it in this sentence. In the second sentence, it's used as a contraction you will capitalize that I as well. Proper nouns, I mentioned that a moment ago with the salutation with Nora. Proper nouns need to be capitalized. Let's review common nouns to differentiate any one of a group of persons, places, things, or ideas. Proper nouns, of course, name a particular person, place, thing, or idea. So examples of that would be the chart below. 
A common noun is dog, any dog, but we want to specify which dog, so we're going to use a proper noun, Lassie, Spot. My do dog's name is Cassie, what, so I would capitalize C. A patriot, one of our famous patriots from the past, Patrick Henry. Some people read about him for summer reading. City, of course, our city is Greenville, so those are particular persons, places, things, or ideas. Names of people and animals, continuing the rule here. Marcus, a first name, the Collins family, capital C for Collins. If I said the Workman family, capital W, the Dietrich family, capital D, the McCoy family, capital M, Rover, another name for a dog. Initials and names, some of you might use your initials when you give your signature. D. F. Scott, those initials are capitalized. A middle initial is capitalized as well. If I signed my name Lisa M. Workman, M for Marie, my middle name, I would capitalize that M. Abbreviations before or after names. For example, a doctor. We have doctor, the abbreviation for that with her name, Dr. Rachel Moss, so we need that D capitalized. Sometimes we have titles that come after names. For example, Herbert Wu, comma, senior. He's the oldest and he has a Herbert Wu Jr. who would be his son. Sometimes there, would, there might be a third, Herbert Wu the third. Some of you all might be juniors. You might be named after your dads, boys that is. And you would have a comma, capital J, lowercase r, period. Geographical names are also proper nouns. Of course, we can have cities, Santa Fe, countries, New Zealand, Red River, body of water. Think of our own Reedy River in Greenville. The Northwest, now that's a region. Of course, we live in the Southeast, so we would capitalize S, S in Southeast if we're talking about the region. Now, here's our grammar gal, and she's gonna give us a little tip here. You have to be really careful with this. When we're just talking about the directions, we're not gonna capitalize them. So if I say go south down Woodruff Road, you would not capitalize south. Here are some other examples, lowercase for these directions. Names of organizations, teams, government bodies, and institutions. For example, Girl Scouts of America. Notice how the O and of is not capitalized because that's not an important word. Clemson Tigers, South Carolina Gamecocks, the G would be capitalized. Greenville City Council, that's the government body that rules our city. Clemson University, look how that U is capitalized. It's a part of the name. Historical events and periods, special events, holidays, and other calendar items. So here are just a few examples of these. Battle of Britain, historical event. If I had D-Day up here from World War II, the D would be capitalized. Parents' Day, some of you guys might have had that in lower school, or Grandparents' Day is, I think, what we have here at Southside. Christmas, of course, our most popular holiday. And Thursday, a calendar item, a day from the week. So again, all of those are proper nouns. Here's another tip from Grammar Girl. And she tells us to not capitalize the name of a season unless it is part of a proper noun. The winter has been harsh. However, in the second sentence, it's part of a proper noun. It's, it goes with the name of this particular dance. So winter is capitalized there. As we approach fall in the next couple of weeks, if I said, I love the fall season, I would have that F in fall as a lowercase letter. Nationalities, races, and peoples are also proper nouns, so we need to capitalize them. Korean, Caucasian, Aztec, Asian, Puerto Rican, Zulu, if we had African American. Also religions and their followers, holy days and celebrations, sacred writings and specific deities. Deity means a god. So Christianity is the religion. Christian is, a, is the follower. Good Friday is the name of a holy day. Of course, Easter would be another example. Bible. I was surprised in summer reading, a lot of you referred to the Bible because of your nonfiction biography or autobiographies. We had a lot of Christians that were written about, Corey Ten Boom, Brother Andrew, etc. And so many of you had a lowercase b for Bible. Let's work on that, please. 
and of course specific deities for Christianity in particular, God, Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, Buddha, if you were a Buddhist, that would be capitalized, Muhammad, Allah, all of those would be capitalized. Proper nouns, again, lots of them here. Businesses and the brand names of business products. All right, Motorola, Foot Locker, Store at the Mall, Zaxby's, Chick-fil-A, Nike, Apple. Now, of course, with this, I mean the computer or iPod, iPhone, etc. not the Apple that we eat. Kleenex. Kleenex is actually a brand name, and we have taken Kleenex and we apply it to pretty much anything, but the generic name is really tissue, which would be a lowercase t. Here's Grammar Girl again with another tip for us. Do not capitalize a common noun that follows the brand name and identifies the type of product. So again, here we have Apple, C, lowercase for computer, because that's not part of the name, it's just the product. Schwinn Bicycle, same thing. Callaway Golf Club, C is capitalized, that's part of the proper name, but not golf club. Planets, constellations, stars, and other heavenly bodies. Saturn, the Milky Way, Orion, Andromeda Galaxy, Great Nebula. What can be confusing though is our own planet. Here's the exception to the rule. We're not gonna capitalize Earth unless it is used along with the names of otherly heavenly bodies that are capitalized. So if we said which is larger, Earth or Mars, then we would capitalize it. However, if we have Earth by itself, lowercase e. A lot of people don't know this rule. Along with the Earth, Sun and Moon are usually not capitalized, so you might say the sun will set just over that mountain peak, lowercase s. Neither Mercury nor Venus has a moon. Keep that m lowercase. Continuing on with proper nouns, the list seems endless. Sh names of ships, trains, aircraft, and spacecraft, and you can see some pictures below. Yankee Clipper, a type of ship. Columbia, that was the name of one of our space shuttles. Enterprise, for you Star Trek fans. Queen Mary, that's the name of a big cruise ship. Spirit of St. Louis, the plane that Lindbergh flew. Orient Express, a type of train. Names of awards, memorials, and monuments. I'm gonna get to see some of these next week when I go with the seniors to DC. Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, Nobel Prize, Lincoln Memorial, Heisman Trophy for you football fans, Jefferson Memorial, as you see in the picture, picture here, Washington Monument, etc. Those would be capitalized. Specific buildings and other structures or edifices. Plaza Hotel, the Alamo in Texas, the Great Wall of China. I wonder if Leo's ever been there. Golden Gate Bridge. I went to the Golden Gate this summer. There's a picture of it there, and my family and I got to sail underneath it in a catamaran. It was pretty cool, or on a catamaran. Hoover Dam out west, Tower of London. I've been there as well. Proper adjectives. Finally, leaving proper nouns here. This is an adjective formed from a proper noun. So instead of acting as a noun, a person, place, or thing, it's acting as a describing word. So for example, if we take the noun Turkey, the proper noun, not the common noun, so we're talking about the country in Europe, and we say the Turkish border, we're using Turkish to describe what type of border, we're gonna capitalize that. Thomas Jefferson came up with many philosophies and theories, and so we call those the Jeffersonian ideals. Christian, we talk about Christian beliefs, we need that capital C, Queen Elizabeth, We'll talk about her when we read Romeo and Juliet. In fact, Romeo and Juliet is considered Elizabethan drama happening during the Renaissance. So these nouns are working as adjectives instead of nouns. Do not capitalize the names of school subjects. So these subjects here, you would not capitalize. Here's the exception though. You do capitalize the names of language classes, so English would fit in that category, Spanish, Latin, French, German, etc. And you do capitalize courses that contain a number. That's kind of the course name, Geometry 2, Chemistry 1. Titles of people. 
Capitalize a person's title when the title comes before the name. For example, our own president, President Obama, Dr. Kaufman, our principal, Professor Woodward, our 12th grade English and psychology teacher. When you have the title alone, though, or it's following the person's name, especially if the title is preceded by a or the, you are going to lowercase that word. So for example, Franklin Roosevelt was the president during World War II. President is not right before his name. We're just talking about the president in general, and so we lowercase it. Of course, if we moved president to be right before his name, it would be capital. We would say President Franklin Roosevelt lived during World War II or something like that. We would capitalize president then. Capitalize a word showing a family relationship when the word is used before or in place of a person's name. So Uncle Matthew, Cousin Josh, Grandfather. If we're using it as their name, we're going to capitalize it. So I might say Grandfather gave me 50 bucks for my birthday. I'm going to capitalize Grandfather because I'm using it as his name. But when we've got a word showing a family relationship following a possessive noun or pronoun, we're not going to capitalize it. My, my is that possessive pronoun, my Uncle Matthew. Your Cousin Josh, another possessive pronoun. Kim's grandfather. We're not using grandfather as his name there. We're just saying that he is Kim's possessive noun there. Capitalize the first and last words and all important words in titles and subtitles. So here's a book. We'll read this later this year. To Kill a Mockingbird, notice how we have a lowercase a. Love Without Love, title of a poem. All important words capitalized there. It's a Wonderful Life, Christmas music or Christmas movie. A is lowercase because that is not an important word. And then Church Clap, that song by Lecrae, capital C for church capital C for clap. Both words are important there. Capitalize abbreviations if the words they stand for are capitalized. So we're talking about abbreviations that come before or after names of persons. For example, Mrs. Jill Robbins, Mrs. Lisa Workman, Mrs. Kristen McDowell, John H. Glenn Jr., our former astronaut, and he was also a senator, Colonel Whitman, it's an abbreviation, but we're still going to capitalize the C and Colonel. Abbreviations of geographical names, Mount St. Helens, Bahama Islands, Greenville County. Those letters are still capitalized. Capitalize abbreviations if the words they stand for are capitalized. For example, addresses, street, room, might be a dorm room, P.O. Box for Post Office Box. Names of organizations, government bodies, and businesses, abbreviations that are capitalized. American Dental Association, Digital Equipment Corporation, FCC, which stands for the Federal Communications Commission. Those abbreviations need to be capitalized because they are part of the name of that organization or government body or business. And that's the end. I hope this was helpful. When you're done listening to this, you need to go back to Moodle and you need to complete the exercise on capitalization. Follow my directions there. Thank you.